Hey there, my name is Jer, and welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a lot recently, and for that, I'm sorry. I've been on the water almost every single day, which was awesome. But then I got some sort of E. coli poisoning, which was not so awesome. And now I think I might have COVID, so even less awesome. I am self-quarantining, so I'll be in my room for the next 10 or so days, and the good news is that lets me finally catch up on the two months worth of videos that I'm behind. But that also means I'm stuck in my room, which is why I'm a little less put together right now than you might normally see me. I'm pretty confident in my boating ability to not die. The day after my big water New River Gorge experience, myself, Todd, and Brennan were in search of more big water. So we made our way to the gully, and on the way we picked up Heather. It's a generally accepted recommendation to run the middle and lower gully before attempting the upper section. And I felt no need to break that rule. There's no reason to rush this. And anyways, as with the day before, our group was not super familiar with the river. Despite the fact that we didn't really know any of the rapids, we put on and this quickly became one of my favorite sections. The surfing here is just amazing. It puts the little surf waves and holes back home on the Haw River to complete shame. There were just so many smooth, glassy, river-wide surfs that you could stay on for hours on end if you wanted to.
Now that's not to say there weren't some violent ones like this wave right here. All it wanted to do was throw you on your side and just rattle you for forever. And all of the surfing made me feel like I was experiencing real surfing for the first time. But the golly is not without its dangers. There's this super scary hole and sieve at Pure Screaming Hell, which is the last major rapid of the run. After we ran it, we actually came out to look at it because we were curious. And of course, to satisfy our curiosity, we threw a stick in it. And then there's this feeling that comes over that I don't really know how to articulate. It's when you're sharing the river with a certain and horrifying death. And to me, it makes me feel alive. Puts into perspective that we are so small and so feeble when compared to the forces of nature or the universe as a whole that life is fleeting and that we only have one to live. And so I must do everything I can to live the greatest life and impact those around me in a positive way. If someone in the community can describe this in a better way, I'd love to see it in the comments. I'm super interested in your take on this feeling or emotion or whatever you call it. By the way, speaking of community, Thank you all for being here with me this past year or so. It really does mean the world to me. And I've been absolutely flattered by the amount of support I've received. I do my best to respond to every single comment, positive or negative, and to try to eventually meet you all out on the river, somewhere, wherever that may be. If you've subscribed, thank you so, so much for being a part of this progression and part of this journey. And if you have not, I would be so thankful if you just took the two seconds to do so. Thank you all so much again. Hope to see you on the river sometime. And really, that's all I have for you all. See you next time.